many in the National Rifle Association, the ex-governor of liberal Massachusetts is not their first choice for president. Still, Mitt Romney's telling the nation's top gun group he is their best choice. You know, we need a president who will enforce current laws, not create new ones that only serve to burden lawful gun owners. President Obama has not. I will. Yet many NRA members can't forget what Romney has said before about guns. We do have tough gun laws in Massachusetts. I support them. I won't chip away at them. I believe they help protect us and provide for our safety. Those laws included a ban on assault weapons, which he also endorsed for federal law. Plus, Romney backed the Brady background check law the NRA fiercely opposed. But now Romney emphasizes gun owners' constitutional rights. It's time to elect a president who will defend the rights President Obama ignores or minimizes. And I will protect the Second Amendment rights of American people. To his critics, gun control is just the latest in a long line of Romney flip-flops that range from abortion to health care. Still, most NRA members contemplating four more years of President Obama seem ready to cut Romney slack. Um, I do think that Mitt uh, does uh, have the leadership and integrity that this country needs, and I see my support going that direction when it's all said and done. Meantime, it should be noted Obama has disappointed gun control backers by failing to seek new safeguards, even after Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's shooting. And with the gun killing of unarmed Trayvon Martin making headlines, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Gun rights and Florida's NRA-backed Stand Your Ground law that's key to the Martin case are yet more issues where Romney must tread carefully wooing conservatives without losing the independence he'll need to win the White House. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Washington.